Hello everyone, it's Yolanda. I just wanted to say a belated uh, Merry Christmas and a very early Happy New Year. Yeah, good morning to you too, Max. Um, I am sitting here on my very, very clean craft table ready to make a few cards and I wanted to share with you what I would be doing. So first, let me tell you that... This up. Sorry about the shadows. Um, this is a empty Stampin' Up! Well, not empty now, obviously. It was an old Stampin' Up! Wood, uh, wooden stamp case that I have been putting scraps in from projects that I was working on, cards that I've been making. And when I first started using it, all the scraps fit inside. And then over time, just, you know, I'd shove scraps in here that obviously now don't fit. But it's starting to get a little out of hand, and I felt in the mood to create, so I thought before I cut up another piece of paper, I'm going to try my best to use as much of this as I can and toss out the rest, because uh, as we all know, scraps can overtake um, our stash. So what, let me just show you. This right here is just some of my cardstock scraps might be a couple patterned but most of it is cardstock scraps this one is my small <laughs> container and then I have a 12 by 12 down underneath me that's for the bigger scraps but I thought you know I'm just gonna do my best to cut up all of this before I start anything new so hopefully you will get to follow my progress so let me just show you um, what I'm doing here I move this out of the way Filming a video. Orange bird's hobby. Orange bird's hobby? Uh -huh. um, I don't know. What is Eating it? Candy. Ay, caramba. He loves candy. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you, sweetie. Okay, I'm filming the video, okay? <laughs> that was Aaron and Drew. <coughs> Say good morning. You. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Um, so I pulled out these three scraps. These two, they were October afternoon. And then I pulled out this green scrap from my cardstock. And then I had a whole bunch of these little girls left over from a project. They're Imagine Cuts. And I had quite a few left because I had an Imagine problem. And I was not going to give up on that machine because I love it. But it was printing but not cutting. And then it was just giving me a whole leap of trouble. But I fixed it. And I... Um, in that time of the trouble, it printed out, with the exception of those girls, printed a whole bunch of these but didn't cut them. So I don't want to waste them. So I hand cut them myself, which I guess I shouldn't whine about because way back in the day, we hand cut everything right. So anyways, I'm going to make some easel cards with my little girls and um, I want to share with you. So let me get some stuff going and I'll come back already. I'm back. Hi everyone. All right, I'm back with all of my elements for my little card. We are going to be making a easel card. I had seen quite a few of them on YouTube recently and I haven't made one in a really long time so I thought what the heck we're going to make one. So like I said, I'm using a bunch of my scraps. I've already cut everything down to size and I'll tell you what I'm what I've cut and how what, you know, the measurements. I've taken one of my little images from the Imagine, one of my little cutouts. I just realized I probably should have cut out her little arm, that little white spot right there. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that real quick. I might pause the video and come back and do that. Um, we are going to be using um, a dollar stamp. I bought a few at Michael's. And I know all Michael's are different. Some come to my store later or earlier opposed to others. So these were new to me. This is a stamp and it says you're some kind of wonderful. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. And um, I got this one, wishing you the best birthday. This one says happy together. Super cute. Um, this one says oh my. This one says homemade with love. Super cute. And this one says just for you. I thought that would be good for Valentine's Day. So, all right, let me um, go cut this out and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Lucky for me, because I've already put all the pop dots on the back. Lucky for me, they were literally look at like right to the edge of where I was gonna cut. 
so it was meant to be. All right, so like uh, I said, I'm going to do an ESO card. I've taken an 8.5 by 11 piece of white cardstock, and I've cut it down the center across the 8.5 inch side. So I have two cards um, that will end up being 4 and a quarter by 5.5, but they open across the top. So I've scored that at 5.5 inches, and then I went... Um, back and scored across that five and a half inch at two and three quarters so that this little flap would fold over this way and that will create my easel. Okay. Then I cut these mats down to um, this is this the whole and will fit the cover the whole entire front so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. My next mat is uh, four by five and a quarter, and then my last one is a quarter inch shorter than that, so three quarter by five. Okay, so we are just going to go ahead and layer them all together. This is a really simple card. This is leftover um, pattern paper from We Are Memory Keepers, and so I'm just going to use my ATG and go around the outside so I can make my layers. So I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. Um, me personally, I'm glad that Christmas is over. All the hustle and the bustle of school functions for the kids and um, school for myself. Just everything. And um, we had a death in the family. And just everything has just been really crazy. And I haven't gotten to enjoy really the whole spirit of the season. So um, let me tell you what I did on Christmas Day. Um, my family celebrates, well they'll actually celebrate either one, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but um, no one was really like had a big thing planned. So I uh, was home on Christmas Eve with my kids, my husband and family, um, just really relaxing. And then on Christmas Day, my husband, I went really early in the morning to visit my mom and had breakfast, and then I came home, and then my husband left to my in-laws with all my children, and I stayed home alone. It was amazing, and I cleaned my craft room all day. <laughs> okay, um, so I've made my mat, and then this is going to attach just to the bottom, so we only need adhesive right here. I'm going to put something stronger on there because I want to make sure that that mat doesn't come off at all so I'm just going to put down some double sided tape. So my goal for the new year, I'm not a, um, re re what do you call New Year's resolution? I'm not a New Year's resolution maker because I think that you can make resolutions all year long. I know the new year is you know, like a symbol of starting over fresh and stuff, but you can do that every day. And so, but I will tell you things that I really do want to focus on. Uh, one is spending more quality time just with the people that I love. My mom, my children. Um, I have a really good friend. My Well, my friend Rachel, if you've been following me for a while, you know she was my entry into my very ever first travel log and she is my good friend and she was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer and um, I want to spend more time with her and doing more crafty instructional tutorials just really showing you how to th do things not just what I've made so and um, what else getting clutter free. Ha! That's one every year, right? <laughs> okay, so I've put my double stick tape down and now I'm just going to line up that mat and make sure that it's to the very edge of the card and press it down. Okay, so we have our easel part. I probably have to back up just a tiny bit. Okay, so we have our our easel part of it and then this is just really super simple I'm just um, oh seriously I meant to do this 
before I started filming. These are um, older pop dots that I've had and I just wanted to use them up and I have found that the older some pop dots get, um, the harder the liner is to come off. And so I wanted to have this done before I started making the card so you won't have to watch me do this. But, um, what the heck, <laughs> I'll just let you watch me do it. Yeah, like I said, this is just going to be a simple use up my scraps, use up those little cutouts. I didn't want to make a card that was going to take a really long time because not everything needs to. You can, I mean, people that aren't crafty would love, I know my friends, I have a couple really good friends that I get together with, and they just, they're not, um, they're crafty but not into uh, paper crafts and so any card I send them they love it <laughs> okay so we'll get our little girl and just put her smack dab in the center of the card okay and then we are going to need um, to create our little strip of um, paper right here you know what is going to actually stop our easel from hold uh, making it able to hold up so I took this little strip of corrugated paper and I've cut it to the width of that so it's four and a quarter and then I have uh, my mat of the orange that matches this and then I have my little white and this is where I'm going to stamp my sentiment I've already positioned it on my stamp stamp a majig is that what it is stamp yeah snap a majig and I'm going to stamp it off to the side because I'm going to be putting a little embellishment right there so I'm going to make sure that it's just where I want it and then you get the arm can you see what I'm doing okay oops I moved the paper oh wait let me first open up my stamp pad I'm using Stampin' Up the classic early espresso okay and I'll be ready so I'm going to hold that down really good so I don't move the paper, position that and move, uh, remove that plastic and then we're just going to, you know what, let me ink this up and stamp it off a couple times because I, um, I was stamping with black and I don't want to mix them. I guess I could clean my stamp, right? No, this will work. Okay. So I'm going to ink it up with that brown, with that early espresso, excuse me. Okay, and then I'm going to position it smack dab in the middle, right back on there. You're some kind of wonderful. That is so cute. Okay, move this out of the way. And then I just punched out a scallop circle and then another just plain circle that is the same pattern paper from that very first mat and that is going to create my little flower and I am putting oh hold on <laughs> my little circle went flying okay sorry about that I'm a little rusty I'm a little video rusty okay and then I'm going to use some of these old pop dots again that went flying Okay, so I'm just going to peel that off, alrighty, and I put that right on there to make my little flower, my little whimsical flower, and maybe that's a little too far over. Oh well, it's not moving now, and that is going to go right there, but let me put all these elements down first. So going to need some strong tape for the back of this because that's raised. I really want to make sure that it doesn't come off. Oh, almost perfect. I went a little too long. It's all right. Let's fold it over. Sorry, I'm totally off camera. Okay, so we'll just put that right down there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the tape on the back now while it's still 
flat before I add that flower because then I won't be able to get it off. As soon as I'm done with this, I have to go inside and start cleaning, and then we're going to try to make it to Target. But I have to work tonight, so trying to get out of the house with kids, actually trying to clean and get out of the house with kids um, might not happen. Right, Shelly? <laughs> Shelly walked in. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alrighty. And then we're going to go ahead and add our little some kind of wonderful I'll just use a wet glue I don't mind about that because I know that's going to stay it's flat okay and that's going to go right in the middle here okay and then our little flower we're going to glue that down also And I need to put enough glue to attach my leaves. And these leaves are obviously a little too big for this, but I think that, I think it looks cute like that. I like it like that. Okay, so that's going to go right there. What you looking for, Ben? Oh, no, there's, there's no more. There's a little bit of milk. Oh, we're out of milk. Sorry, I have to go to the market right now. See, we're out of everything. It's dry bones here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and peel back the liner for this. And I see that my battery is getting low. It's probably going to start blinking in a second. Okay. And so figure out about how far I want it to rest and then oh I didn't cut this short enough okay that's all right we're gonna cut it right now way too long oh I know why I got sidetracked when I was measuring one of the twins came in okay so we're going to trim this part let me get my scissors mm. curses ah. okay great there we go. So there we go. Look at it's a cute, simple card. You're some kind of wonderful. That is so cute. And this is the other one I made. Just using up my scraps. The only thing I cut new was the card stock uh, for the actual card. And then this was all scraps. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I hope to create um, some more cards and projects for you and teach you some new stuff, hopefully. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm off to clean and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.